here, sit, kennel, good, here, good job. Hi, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and we're back with Sprig for a midweek progress update. We're going to show you kind of what his routine looks like and where we're at with his training. To start off with, he needs his nails trimmed. We've been working on this. He's not by any means perfect, but we're going to show you what that looks like. After we get his nails trimmed, we're going to move right into a training session so you can see kind of how he's progressing, learning these new behaviors and how we work through that. And then um, we, from there, we'll be able to just keep you posted with everything that we teach him new. So let's get started with his nails. Come on, buddy. Most of the time we like to let the puppies curl up in our lap. Yeah, Sprig's a fan of this. We're pretty good cuddle buddies most of the time. Good, we'll get him here and we will start with his nails. We wanna make sure that he is not um, fighting or anything else. So we're gonna take our time. We've got plenty of time to do this. We're gonna take just a little bit off, good. Good boy. If he starts pulling or anything else, this little bit of nibbling, we don't want that right now either. So, psst, hey, stop. We'll go back to trimming. Just making those little, uh, 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 little corrections when he needs them and moving through his nails. Good. Try not to trim them too short, but at the same time, uh, uh, uh. Stop. Don't leave them too long, otherwise those quicks will grow out. Good. Come back on to the back ones. Back ones usually don't need quite as much trimming as the front. We've got four more. Good boy. Now we'll give him just a second. Give him some love, tell him that he did a good job with this. Yeah. Just to help him to continue to feel comfortable laying on his back here. Good boy. And getting his nails trimmed. Good. Now we're done with that. We'll move into his morning meal and training session. Yeah. So again, we incorporate a little bit of training in each and every uh, meal that he has. If we don't have quite as much time, um, it may even be just half a dozen reps, but he's working for that meal and then getting the reward with that jackpot at the end. So we've been working on place training. You can see that. Um, we've also been working on here. Good boy. Oh, throw it off your face. There it is. Good job. Sit. Good boy. Now you can see we have multiple dog beds over here. It doesn't really matter which one he goes to as long as he's going to one. Kennel, good. Now we've started to incorporate that variable reinforcement there. I just rewarded him for each thing that he knows. Now we're gonna ask several and then reward him afterwards. So you see what this looks like. Here, sit, kennel, good, here. Good job. So he did four different tricks, commands, cues. Good, and then we're rewarding him. Good boy. Throw him a couple extra kibble, he did a really good job. Kennel. The key to this process is that you don't um, have a set pattern and you continue to evaluate him. If he's not, continue to be focused. If he doesn't stay focused with the training session, you're asking too much. You need to reward slightly more often. Now, this is a great example of watching a puppy think. He wants to get rewarded, so he's trying all of the things. He sat in front of us. He went over to the dog bed. He came and jumped. Nothing has earned anything yet, so now we're going to ask him again and show him that doing what we're asking is how you're going to get rewarded. Hey, here. Good. Sit. Good boy. Feed him a couple more kibble. That's good. 
Kennel. Ooh, we stopped short. We'll help him a little bit. Kennel. Good. This is the most recent one that we've learned, so he's not doing perfect yet, but you can see we've made a ton of progress. Good boy. Send him back again. Kennel. Good. Much better. Let's do one more of those. Come on. Good. Kennel. There. Those look great. We'll do one more round here, and then we're going to move right into his jackpot. And the last thing that we'll work on is him sitting and staying, trying to get that bowl closer and closer to the ground. Here. Good. Sit. Good. Kennel. Good boy. Here. Sit. Good. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Good boy. You see we're just a few inches off the ground there. Definitely making a ton of progress. While he finishes this up, guys, make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss any of his progress updates and all of the great giveaways from our sponsors in this series. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.